15. The Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community Presents, The Mini Biography of Donald Trump Jr. 1977. Donald Trump Jr. is the oldest son of U.S. President Donald Trump and a trustee of the Trump Organization. Who is Donald Trump Jr.? Donald Trump Jr. signed up with business established by his popular father, Donald Trump, as a full-time employee in 2001. Initially tasked with the development of Trump Place and Trump Park Avenue in Manhattan, he eventually took control of the instructions of brand new job acquisition and advancement for the business. After helping his father's successful project to end up being U.S. President in 2016, Trump Jr. and his more youthful bro Eric were called directors of a trust that held the family organization interests. Early Years Donald John Trump Jr. was born upon December 31, 1977, in New York City. The oldest kid of property magnate and ultimate U.S. President Donald Trump in his first other half, Ivana, he invested much of his time with his maternal grandparents rather of his busy parents, spending summer times with them in Czechoslovakia. Following a messy divorce in between Trump Sr. and Ivana, Trump Jr. and his younger brother or sisters, Ivanka and Eric, were sent to boarding school. He reconnected with his dad during summer season, assisting as a dock attendant and with the renovation of the Seven Springs Estate in Westchester County, New York. Trump Jr. attended the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania. After making his degree in finance and property, he relocated to Aspen, Colorado, where he spent his time camping, skiing and bartending. Tiring of the way of life, he returned to New York in 2001 to join his dad at the Trump Organization. Trump Organization Executive Trump Jr. initially assisted with the development of Trump Place, a 17-building complex on Manhattan's west side. He then proceeded to such jobs as Trump Park Avenue, a conversion of the former Hotel Del Monaco in Midtown Manhattan, and the Trump International Hotel in Chicago and Las Vegas. Additionally, he likewise emerged as an advisor on his Papa's Truth television program, The Apprentice. Called Executive Vice President of the Trump Organization, Trump Jr. was charged with new project acquisition and development for properties around the globe. In recent years, he has actually overseen the advancement of structures in Mumbai, India and Vancouver, Canada, and managed renting arrangements for Trump Tower and 40 Wall Street in Manhattan. 2016 Presidential Campaign After Trump Sr. tossed his hat into the ring for the 2016 governmental race, Trump Jr. joined his brother or sisters on the campaign trail. He delivered a popular speech at the 2016 Republican National Convention, providing Trump Sr. as an everyman with a connection to routine, hard-working Americans. He also displayed his daddy's fondness for styring debate via social media, particularly with a tweet that compared Syrian refugees to a bowl of Skittles. If I had a bowl of Skittles and I told you just three would kill you, he tweeted. Would you take a handful? That's our Syrian refugee problem. Make America great again. Upon Trump Sr.'s success over Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton in November, Trump Jr. signed up with the shift team for the new administration. In January 2017, the president-elect announced that he was positioning his services into a trust that would be managed by his two kids. Russian meeting controversy In July 2017, the president's kid was embroiled in debate when the New York Times reported that he was offered compromising details about Clinton throughout the presidential project. According to the report, Trump Jr. was sent an email dated June 3, 2016, which specified that one of his dad's former Russian business partners had been contacted by a Russian federal government official who had actually used the apparently incriminating details about Clinton. This is undoubtedly extremely high-level and delicate details but is part of Russia and its government's support for Mr. Trump, the email mentioned, according to the New York Times. According to the report, Trump Jr. responded, if it's what you say I like it specifically later in the summer. The email correspondence resulted in a June 9 conference in between Russian legal representative Natalia Veselnitskaya, who reportedly has ties to the Kremlin, and Trump Jr., his brother-in-law and Trump consultant Jared Kushner and Trump Project Supervisor Paul Manafort at Trump Tower in New York City. Trump Jr. denied wrongdoing and issued a statement, which stated the short introductory meeting was mainly concentrated on the problem of adoption. He later acknowledged that Veselnitskaya used details about Clinton, and in another declaration, he stated, her declarations were vague, ambiguous and made no sense. No information or supporting info was supplied and even used. It quickly ended up being clear that she had no meaningful details. Trump Jr. then released his declaration and the email chain in concern through his Twitter account. President Trump likewise provided a statement in which he said, My boy is a premium individual and I applaud his openness. Home and Senate Testimony In 2017, Trump Jr. testified behind closed doors to both the Senate Intelligence and Judiciary Committees about Russian-related matters. 
He apparently informed the Judiciary Committee that he knew really little about then-Trump legal representative Michael Cohen's attempts to assist in the building and construction of a Trump Tower in Moscow during the governmental campaign. Later on that year, he likewise affirmed the Before Your House Intelligence Committee about the ongoing examinations into the project's alleged collusion with Russia. Trump Jr. validated that he had a telephone call with his daddy quickly after the release of the Times short article over the summer, however declined to disclose details of the conversation, on the grounds it was safeguarded under attorney-client benefits since attorneys for both males were on the call. He did elaborate on the matter of his Twitter discussions with WikiLeaks during the campaign, saying he considered WikiLeaks to be an independent wire service, not one that functioned to pass on information from the Russian federal government. The following summer season, as he began distancing himself from his previous employer, Cohen alleged that the president was aware of the June 2016 conference in New York between Veselnitskaya, his earliest kid and others ahead of time. In addition, Cohen later testified that he had actually briefed Trump family members on the Moscow Trump Tower job a minimum of 10 times, opposing Trump Jr.'s claim that he knew extremely little about it. In May 2019, it was reported that Trump Jr. had actually been subpoenaed to make a return look before the Senate Intelligence Committee to clarify a few of his previous responses on the subject. After talking with the committee the following month, he told journalism, I don't believe I changed any of what I said because there was nothing to change. In November, Trump Jr. waded into another debate when he tweeted the name of the supposed whistleblower who initially reported concerns about President Trump's attempts to pressure the Ukrainian federal government into investigating 2020 governmental prospect Joe Biden and his kid Hunter. Personal life and other projects. Donald Trump Jr. met design Vanessa Hayden at a style show in 2003. They wed at the Trump Mar-a-Lago estate in Palm Beach, Florida, in 2005, and went on to have five kids. In March 2018, Vanessa applied for divorce after 12 years of marital relationship. Around that time, Trump Jr. began dating former Fox News host Kimberly Guilfoyle. In addition to his responsibilities for the household business, Trump Jr. has hosted the business show 21st Century Television and been included with the medical charity Operation Smile. He has long held a love for the outdoors and counts searching and fishing amongst his personal interests. In November 2019, Trump Jr. published his first book, Triggered, how the left thrives on hate and wants to silence us. In September 2020, he self-published his second book, Liberal Privilege, Joe Biden and the Democrats' Defense of the Indefensible.